Hello, my name is Alina Fong. I am a clinical neuropsychologist at my clinic, Cognitive FX. My goal today is to try to help you determine or understand if you've had a concussion or not. Uh, you may have been injured in a sports-related accident. You may have just had a slip and fall. Um, a little bump to the head. My goal today is to try to help piece that apart for you. So if you think that you've had a concussion and you've been injured in the last few days to maybe a week or so, we would call this an acute concussion. Usually your symptoms could be headache, a lot of light sensitivity, noise sensitivity. Uh, you may feel like you wanna crawl into a hole for a bit. And those are some of the, the big signs of, of an acute concussion. One of the misunderstood components of a concussion is that you have to have a loss of consciousness or you have to have severe confusion, and that's actually not the case. Nausea and vomiting also isn't even a part of that. For the most part, our patients struggle with feeling kind of foggy, feeling kind of slow. Uh, if you're having any of those symptoms and you just hit your head, uh, you may actually be experiencing an acute concussion. So if you feel like you're having an intense headache that keeps growing, that doesn't abate or doesn't lessen, um, if you feel like your symptoms are overall getting worse, then please go to the emergency room. Uh, your doctor there might do uh, some tests with you. They might even send you in for a CT scan, uh, which will help them determine if there's something more serious going on, uh, which is always good to rule out in the very beginning. After the emergency department, chances are they should refer you to um, a concussion specialist. This is where things can get a little more complicated because often the patients that we see have gone that route and it's been weeks and months and they're still not feeling better. Once you reach this kind of a three month mark, we consider this post-concussion at that point. Um, the symptoms are considered post-concussion symptoms and you've entered more of this chronic phase uh, which can be really frustrating and really difficult because you're functioning fine. You can feed yourself, you know, you can dress yourself, you can even probably go to work or go to school. Not as well as you used to, but you can function for the most part. A lot of my patients are in this limbo stage where, again, they can do what they need to do, but they know that they're not functioning the way that they should. But because they're functioning, at a basic level. They're not being understood by their medical professionals at that point and their medical caregivers. Um, oftentimes they're being prescribed medications to just deal with the symptoms and medications while they have their place in some cases in the chronic phase usually have outlived its purpose. Uh, often these medications cause more problems and more symptoms um, uh, than we want and uh, can just complicate uh, the matter. This is the typical course or pattern uh, for our patients. And if you've been down this route, it's okay. But if you find that you want more or you're, you're not satisfied with where you are and you know that you can improve or you want to still improve, that is where we can step in. If you would like more information, please feel free to click the links below to our blog, which will direct you to some great educational uh, information and resources um, that might help you continue your journey and finding if there's anything else that can be done. And we'd love to help.